Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channel. Please check the description to know more about the channels. I know my video is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The human heart is now documented as the strongest generator of both electrical and magnetic fields in the body. Important, because we've always been taught that the brain is where all of the action is. While the brain does have an electrical and a magnetic field, they are both relatively weak compared to the heart. The heart is about 100,000 times stronger electrically and up to 5,000 times stronger magnetically than the brain. Important, because the physical world, as we know it, is made of those two fields, electrical and magnetic fields of energy. Physics now tells us that, if we can change either the magnetic field or the electrical field of the atom, we literally change that atom and its elements within our body and this world. The human heart is designed to do both. Imagine the possibilities. There lies within the body a piece of flesh. If it is sound, the whole body is sound, and if it is corrupted, the whole body is corrupted. Verily this piece is the heart. Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam. So, what really happened? Either giants existed as a separate people to us, or we ourselves were the giants. I think it may have been both. We see these temples and pyramids under the sea all around, which can only mean we were on a lower ground level, which would increase oxygen levels. Once those levels increase, it creates megafauna, which means bigger everything. If you think of some of the best long distance runners, they come from Ethiopia, mainly where the altitude level is much higher. When they come down to our level, the oxygen intake is greater, which makes them run for much longer. You decide. There are so many old articles from newspapers dating back from the 1800s until the 1920s of giants being found and reported on. There was a period of time in our past not long ago where finding giants was common. People seemed to accept this easily, but then things took a turn. In the 1920s, any reports regarding giants were shut down and ridiculed, and soon the report stopped altogether. The only reports we find since then are hoaxes and copies to even further ridicule and dismiss the idea of giants. I can see, if the true story of giants was brought to light, they would have to start changing the textbooks all over again, and Darwin's theory on evolution would crumble. People often ask why would they hide this? For what reason? The reason above is why, it's all for control. Control of knowledge is power. In the August 23, 1896 issue of the New York Journal, an article detailing the existence of ancient giants. In 1868, while excavating, they came upon the tracks of marsh birds, then at a depth of 5 meters, found the bones of a mastodon, and then the tracks which have aroused much more interest and discussion. Several hundred human footprints made in soft clay many thousands of years ago in world history, and preserved, thanks to the overlying metamorphic rock. The footprints are 53 centimeters long. The article goes on to talk about the discovery of a footprint of 73 centimeters in length. Do you think they were examined? Buried it back up. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. 
and don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification bell too so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Dave Frazier collected evidence of the flood in South, Central, and North America. Among the myths of Native American tribes, there is often the theme of the flood. There are even floods. For example, in the Codex Jumalpak. The sky approached the earth, and in one day, everything perished. Even the mountains disappeared underwater. It is said that the rocks we see now covered the whole earth, and the mountains rose red. In Popolva, the priests of the Kitchindians, the face of the earth darkened, and black rain began to fall. A downpour by day and a downpour by night. Thick tar spilled from the sky. Among the Indians of the Amazon basin, legend tells us that there was a terrible roar and rumble, everything was plunged into darkness, and then a downpour came upon the earth, which flooded the whole world. The water rose to a great height, and the whole earth was submerged in water. The darkness and the downpour never stopped. Fairy tale or true story? With millions of tons of hand-carved stone, the Egyptians had to make mistakes sooner or later. But the stelae, sarcophagi and blocks are perfectly chiseled, the angles are accurate to one degree, and the grinding has been preserved for thousands of years. But some of the blocks have marks on them that look like a bolt cutter. Scientists try to ignore them or give dubious versions about copper and abrasive. How did the chisel have to slip off to draw long, even lines? Giovanni Battista Fiorini's 1563 fresco depicts giants and men. If historians call the drawings of giants the gods and nobles painted this way, does that mean there was one slave for the whole city? Or is this a city of gods? In any case, these giants look harmonious against a background of ancient architecture, but the little man in height looks more like a modern man. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.